Hi everybody and a very warm welcome to Susanna's Kitchen. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas and thank you for choosing to click on this video. So we make everything in the Ninja Foodie here and Christmas is no exception. Of course, I don't expect you to be making a whole Christmas dinner for like 10 people using just one Ninja Foodie. But these recipes aren't just for Christmas Day. These recipes are for the full festive season. So I've got you covered with everything from party nibbles, starters, main courses, desserts, drinks. I've got the full works going on this December. So I really hope you enjoy these videos. Don't forget to give me a like below and subscribe to my channel as well. So today's recipe is an exclusive cookbook recipe. I've got a brand new Christmas cookbook that I have just released over on my website, which is www.susannaskitchen.uk. So go over there and grab yourself a copy. Now you don't need to worry about saving this video for today's recipe because there'll be a QR code in the cookbook which will link back if you do want to watch the recipe video again. And all my recipes are so super achievable and of course really delicious. So I hope you enjoyed today's Ninja Foodie recipe. Let's go and start cooking. So that's my little bit of prep done. It doesn't take too long at all and it is worth it because this is gonna be absolutely gorgeous. So we've got the Ninja on sear and saute and I add in a little bit of spray oil. To that we add the mushrooms and also our diced pepper and spring onion. And whilst we're waiting for that to cook, we might as well start building up our sandwich. So to begin with, let's butter the bread and this is going to be the outside of the sandwich. It's going to go lovely and toasty. I realise that some of it's going to get a little bit stuck on the board, but we're just going to have to go with it. Here we go. And then do this piece as well with your butter. Now I'm going to add our sriracha mayonnaise and just spread that all over like this. Get that right to the edges. It's obviously going to add some moisture, but also some good flavour as well. Going to add a layer of cheese. That's going to go on one side. Mm, it's going to be so oozy. I'm using a strong cheddar. Of course, you can use whichever cheese that you enjoy. It doesn't really matter. Anything that's going to melt well is going to work well in this. Then we can layer on top some of our roast beef. There you go, it's got a nice layer over the top there. And now we just need to wait for our vegetables to be softened on the sear and saute. Let's go and have a look how they're getting on. Great, we're getting a little bit of colour and they're starting to soften down and cook nicely. My mushrooms, because they're going to be easier just to lay on top first. Now we can add the rest of our cheese on top and I'm just pressing that down as I go. Just sprinkle the last little bit on there and let's get that into our air fryer. Thank you. 